first day I was in Vancouver, first yeah. night I was in Vancouver, next day in the morning I went to school. Uh, the first thing I did was class. Okay, well, okay. We ate first. And the then class. Before, and then class. <laughs> like if they are reading a play in two hours, it takes me eight hours to read it. And this is what I want to do and I'm going to do it. And it doesn't matter how I know that I do not quit. And I know that if I have something in my mind, I will do it no matter what. Welcome back to Vibes and Visas with me, Charlie Karomi, and the one, the only, Ali! You promised me a maple uh, sweet candy. This is maple syrup candy. Okay. Cause you only find it in Canada. No. Did you know that Canada makes 85% of the world produce of uh, maple. maple syrup. I and most know. of it in Quebec because the winter is very cold and after that there's mild uh, spring. So the trees produce this maple water to grow bigger. They push it to their uh, branches and yeah. leaves. And uh, there's more than 150 types of maple trees in the world, but only the ones with red leaves that make the maple syrup. Why do you know all this? Oh, because <laughs> I do, uh, I do uh, 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 tours. Okay. Uh, as a tour guide. Yeah. So this is one of the things that, uh, you know, Ali, about. man of many talents. <laughs> okay, okay. Let's try this maple. It's because we're in Canada, the land of the maple leaf yeah. and the maple tree and the biggest producer of maple syrup in the world. 85. Okay. Oh, it's actually shaped like a maple leaf. Makes sense because it's yeah, maple yeah. Uh, uh, candy. Makes sense. makes sense. We can put those here and then we can take them away. It's good. It's not very sweet. It's not bitter. Bitter. It's, uh, bitter. <laughs> it's in between oh, and uh, hard. It's very fun. Hard candy. Yeah. And then now I'm realizing because I need to do the rest of the show, I should have... I'll hold it in my hand. Oh! <laughs> I'll pull it. Well, I have it here because I'm drinking coffee. <laughs> okay. Okay. Ali, let's finish your story. Let's do it. Uh, where we left off. You're in Vancouver. You're auditioning. You're getting callbacks, you're booking roles, things are going relatively well for you. You're being reaffirmed in that dream that you had, yep. that you're feeling like this is possible, I can do it. Exactly. Because you know the kind of person that you are, you do not give up. No sir, I do not. Nice. So here's the thing, let me ask you, you're in Canada, uh, we've just talked about work. Let, tell me about social life, friends, uh, family, people you've met here. How's that going? How's, how are you doing socially? Are you excelling as you are in your career? Yeah, it okay. was hard in the beginning, mm -hmm. uh, especially that we came in COVID time. Mm -hmm. yeah. So all the Lockdown. places were closed and uh, things were weird. Uh, but then I started going to school, so I started like meeting people at school. Yeah. Uh, some of them are very close friends till now. Uh, most of them, actually. And uh, yeah, in essentials, and then I met uh, other people in like the one year. So I always had like uh, people to to see and go out with. Uh, and then uh, we started uh, because we came in summer. We started meeting people at the beach. And we're very social and uh, we like, like, you know, gatherings. We like to have people over most of the time. And uh, so we started like getting to know more people in summertime. Yeah. And uh, winter, it's a little bit harder. Because uh, right. everyone is like, yeah, you don't want to go anywhere. Yeah, we don't want to. Work to the house, get yeah. warm. Yeah, we try, we try not to do that. Uh, yeah. We met uh, last summer, we met a lot of uh, uh, people from different countries in the world, some of them Arabs, uh, who became uh, very close friends. And 
Yeah, I think we're thriving socially. Socially, because thriving. even even in Jordan, before we come here, our house was like you know uh, where everyone comes to have barbecues and stuff like that, and I do the grilling and I'm very loud. Nice. And, and uh, back home in Libya, our house also that you know my parents' house, uh, everyone comes there like the children because I have uh, niece and nephews. Now my oldest niece is. 22 please let me be correct yes she is 22 and she's yeah. studying uh, in uh, med school so that's my niece so the family is like growing yeah. uh, in a beautiful way a bit, I so, love that yeah. so thriving socially yeah, yeah, as well yeah, yeah, okay yeah. Ali uh, let me ask you plan for the future we're in 2023 I almost said 2022 it's 2023 yeah. uh, plan for the future uh, in terms of your uh, career in terms of social life are you staying in van are you moving around are you traveling Are you producing like a big thing that you can tell us about right now? What's what's Ali's plan for the future? <laughs> Very general question. You can yeah. answer it however. Well, yeah, yeah, I know. Um, like location-wise, uh, we're waiting to finish our uh, papers here. Mm -hmm. So moving around would be much easier. We don't yeah. need like visas and stuff like that. And it takes a lot of time and energy. Uh, so hopefully very soon we will get that done and out of the way because we've been working on it for almost two years now. Um, most of the time that we were here. And uh, hopefully when that is done, first thing we want to do, we want to go back home. Uh, my wife never been in my uh, city before because we got married in uh, Jordan she's never been there my question is this sorry you said go back home you have many homes go back to Libya. Cyprus to Libya. Jordan to, to Libya. Libya yes okay yes. oh your wife hasn't been to no. your home city no okay yeah. wait you said your home it's uh, Benghazi which Benghazi. is the uh, like the largest uh, city in the east and there's the capital Tripoli yeah in the west and there's Sabha in the south so basically it's like three big wait the sorry i'm i'm say, i'm i'm realizing now it's the one that cuz i guess americans call it yeah. benghazi benghazi but it oh it's the benghazi yeah i've watched it ah what movie was it? you know i've watched the movie 13 that 13 hours in benghazi that one yeah okay that's oh that's your city yeah I, I, i was right next to the embassy when that happened <laughs> yeah but i was uh, in my friend's house we've been hearing like you know things but we were just you thought it was a normal shootout know, yeah we didn't know what's uh what was that's going on. that's that's why and, and yeah when you had a talk with guys and they were like it's time for you to leave they were right You can't tell me that you are right next to where the thing actually happened you know the people who told me to leave yeah. they're very close to the other group which is like uh, you know ISIS and the other groups that worked with ISIS. Yeah. But that's yeah, one time one time we'll sit down and you'll tell me the story probably because I feel like there are layers to the story oh, that yes. not even uh, that's not since safe the for the start for the yeah. of the It's a yeah. It's topsy turvy. We'll talk about it one day. Yeah. You, you, we'll, we'll I have a lot of stories by the way to tell you. I'm a storyteller. Hi. Uh, <laughs> uh, now you've even distracted me. Okay, so a <laughs> plan. So when you're done with the papers, yeah. then you start traveling. Uh, yes, your wife um, I want to, to Benghazi. Yes, and and this will be maybe um, in winter because I don't want to leave Vancouver summertime. Oh, Vancouver it's, summertime, it's, no. It's a crime. Yeah. If you if you leave it, we have a lot of uh, plans. We have our friends coming uh, to stay here summertime. We have plans already for the summer. Uh, it's very exciting. Uh, lots of those plants involving water ah. and water, <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> water. <laughs> and, uh, and very excited for that I want to focus more and more on uh, my uh, career yeah. I want to book as many roles as uh, I can especially yeah. after you know the uh, that thing that some, we talked uh, about the bumps that yeah. uh, happened although they're somehow I can take them in a good way yeah. and uh, I want to uh, continue my YouTube 
my new YouTube channel that I already uh, published one episode of yeah. that, which is something close to what we're doing. Tell right us now. about that. You call it nostalgia, but what's the name in? Because nostalgia is the English translation. Yeah. So what's uh, it? it's called Al Hanin. Al Ha Ha Nin. Al Hanin. Yes. Okay, <laughs> that's an, in, in my mother tongue, Kikuyu. Hanini means a little bit. <laughs> ah, wallah. Yeah. Hanini means my Hanin. Wait, no, my nostalgia. Yeah. yeah, so han, Hanin is mine. No. Hanini, uh, E in the end, uh-huh. which, which is like me. me. Oh. Like Tirifoni, Gahuti, oh. um, or. Um, you know, so when it's you put an T E at the or end, e, T it, or E, it, it depends if it's like feminine it or masculine. It means it's yours. It's yours, yes. Okay. Yeah. Look Hoshi, at that. like Hoshi, my house. Okay. Yeah. So I, as I told you, in Kikuyu, Hanini, uh, there's a song that we sing. Neto viebele, Hanini, Hanini, mo yo ne munene. Hanini means a little bit. I but, see. Uh, t- tell me about. El Hanini. Uh, so basically, the main idea is to see Libyans who emigrated uh, to Canada or traveled to study in Canada to uh, to hear their stories. Uh, how did they do it, and uh, why, and what's happening with mm, them? Mm. And also now, I'm trying to expand it to not be only Libyans where I can. Uh, have more conversations with Arab speaking people mm-hmm. because the show is in Arabic. Uh, oh, so, uh, yeah, of course, yeah. Arabic title. E- you speak, uh, yeah, it's yeah. an Arabic, yeah. E- yes, show. so I published the uh, first uh, episode like mm-hmm. uh, uh, one week ago. Uh, hopefully, very soon I would be going Maybe. forward with it and okay. uh, shooting more stuff. I'll put the link uh, somewhere. I don't know where the corner of the frame is. I'll put the link to Ali's video. It's somewhere on the screen right now. And you better subscribe and, and like. You, and you better subscribe and like. And as you said, like this is this was part of your mission when you came out here to represent your people, which brings us full circle, I guess. Yeah. When we started out, I asked you your mission. And if I remember correctly, you said to uh, represent, yeah. of course, to Maybe. live and to uh, grab the higher hanging fruits. Yeah. So let's evaluate. To live, are you living more? Do you feel like you're living a fuller life right now? I believe I'm living maybe somehow, somewhat a harder life Mm -hmm. because um, like, you know, far away from family and the friends I grew up with. But I know it's worth it because I have a goal I want to achieve. So those uh, hardships could be the fuel to this journey I'm willing to take. Okay. Very profound. I like it. Thank you. you you're living a harder life, but it's for a reason. Like, yes. like you're, you're building something. You're exactly. working towards something. Yeah. Okay. That and it's cool. not just for me. It's also for the people I uh, I love and represent. Yeah. You know, so that's that's why it's uh, it's giving me uh, energy and uh, will. Yeah. You're achieve. carrying them on your back. You have them. Let's go. Like let's yes. go. Let's go. Yes. Okay. So so that was one. Two was to grab the higher hanging fruit. Are you grabbing? I'm trying. I'm climbing the tree. The tree is <laughs> the tree is too high, yeah, and uh, it's very high. But I can feel that you know it's it's almost there. It's very close. It's within reach. Okay, yeah. okay. And the last one was to represent yes the people. Yeah, and you you're doing that already. I'm trying. You're trying. It's you started. I don't think it's El-Hanin. ever enough. Yeah, but I'm trying, and I'm going to keep. Uh, keep uh, doing it. Yeah. As long as you're doing it more than... You came here in 2021. Are you representing more than you are representing in 2021? You've, you've increased your Basically, representation. Yes. yes. Yeah. 
Yes. Okay. And are you are you uh, higher up the tree than you are in 2021? Yes. Yes. A and lot you, higher. A lot higher. And are you living a bit more fuller? Might be a bit harder, but are you living a bit more fuller well, in I'm, your I'm, life? I'm, I'm, I'm living. I'm still, You're living. I'm still alive. You're still alive. Which is a blessing, I think. <laughs> and uh, yeah, and uh, I just want to use this uh, blessing in the best way I can. There you go. Yeah. Ali, I will take no more of your time. You have been much, much too kind. Like, can you see, like, when we started, we had the view of the whole of Vancouver behind us. Yeah. Now all you guys can see is the lights. <laughs> But now, you know, uh, when we finish this and we yeah. turn off the lights, you're yeah. going to see the view. Oh, better. yeah. So you get, you get we can see take the, the lights. Yeah, you can do view. that. But Sorry. yeah, Ali, thank you so much. You're the nicest guy. You, you, you invited me into your home. You told us the story. You took us through the entire journey across one, two, three, four. Africa, Cyprus is technically in the in Europe. Well, yeah, because it's uh, Cyprus, Greece. It's 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 uh, Turkey and Greece. It's two yeah. parts. But That's it's not story. it's not in Africa. So no, 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 yeah. no, 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 yeah. So you took us from Africa. You took us to Europe. You can say that it is. You European. went to the Middle East. Yes, I did. And then now we're in Canada. Yes, across continents, yeah. across the Mediterranean, across the Atlantic. Yeah. And thank you so much for telling us the story. We wish you nothing but all the very best, and we look forward to seeing you on this big screen. It will be Charlie. And Ali on the biggest blockbuster yes, of the year. Sir. Come on. I said, <laughs> if we are ever in anything next, I will flip out. I'll be like, please, my trailer should be next to that man's. Just put our trailers put next them to together. each other. Come, I'll get us one big trailer. <laughs> It'll be amazing. But yeah, Ali, thank you so much. Wish you, you all the best. And we're excited to see what you do. Thank you very much for this. I had fun. Uh, it's a lot of fun. It's just like uh, we're feeling a little bit trapped, but now we can we can move. We can like, move. We, we can, can move because it's camera angles. Because you have to stay in. How can I? How can I say? Um, thank you and see you next time. In Swahili, you say asante. Asante, which is thank you. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Um, or one that's a bit easier, shukran. Well, we say shukran. So basically, <laughs> no, no, I would go okay. with asante because asante. shukran is it's different. Very easy. So asante. But instead of telling you, see you next time. Here's the one. Uh, here's how we end every episode of Vibes and Visas. Yeah. Right? It's a Swahili proverb. Okay. So basically, is kutembea kuingi ni kuona mengi. Ni kuona mengi. Yeah. Okay. So it's like when you travel more, you see more. And we're travelers. We're okay. explorers. Yes, we right? are. So that's the thing. So. I will say kutembea kwingi and then Nikuam. you will ni kuona mengi. Let me type Nikuana it. Ni kuona mengi. No, you don't need to. I got it. So ni ni kuona mengi. Yeah, ni kuona mengi. There you go. Okay. Shall we do this? Yes. Okay. Uh, okay. I would say asante first or Yeah. Like, oh, say uh, actually say asante sana. Asante sana. There you go. My people. There you go. I love you. <laughs> Okay, and now let's do the final outro. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Vibes and Visas with me, Charlie Karomi, and the one, the only, Ali Bump That. And remember what I always tell you, what I always say, remember. Kutembea kwingi, neko ana mengi. There you go! <laughs> Catch you guys on the next one. Hey! I'm a love for you, so strong.